Hey guys, HV here, and welcome back to another video going over the brand new Switch games coming out this year, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Now, today's video is super exciting because a bunch of new gameplay has just dropped. Uh, you know, a couple weeks back where I went over that YouTuber that had basically gone to the Nintendo headquarters and basically played the game for like half an hour. Well, that's kind of happened again with a different YouTuber. They will be linked in the description down below to the actual original video because this video is like 20 minutes long. So I'm going to break it up into two different videos going over all the different gameplay. So I'll do this one today and then probably the next one tomorrow or something like that But um, got a lot of gameplay to go through like evolution uh, I think there might be a shiny in here as well I'm not 100 sure but there's definitely evolution So we're gonna go through all the gameplay So if you guys are excited please do drop a like down below It really does help out the video, the channel, all that good stuff And without further ado, let's get into the video And I really hope that you guys enjoy So starting things off we have this family I think this is the YouTube channel there Nice little intro is pointing at something in the sky he's having a great time he's just he's having the greatest time of the life like he's holding it in like he's he's i would be going crazy if i was this kid but uh they're, they're just a family or something and then they're obviously they just come to play pokemon which is all good uh they're just basically showing off the game and then we get to the gameplay so this is it they're starting in vermilion city uh we don't see squirtle up here enough as a jenny uh, unless they're just behind this house but i'm not sure like, obviously that's the squirtle that we find in yellow we, we're not sure as to why there's there oh no there it is he's right there so we're not sure as to why they are actually in the games because obviously we find the start open in the wild because we know that we find Bulbasaur in Viridian Forest as we saw at E3. So we're not sure why these are here. Obviously they were here in yellow because they were like the extra start open you could get. So maybe they have like the Mega Evolution uh, stones or something like that if you have to even hold them. We don't know if that's the thing. We really don't know. We just kind of wait and see what happens. So uh, they go above a million and then above a million uh, they find a Jigglypuff. And I don't think you could find Jigglypuff here before pretty sure you could only find jigglypuff in like um that patch of grass next to mount moon um just after cerulean so i definitely know that you could not get jigglypuff here so uh, straight away we already know the pokemon are in different places this guy is already bored i'm like dude you played the game for two minutes and you're already bored that ain't making me feel comfortable about the games like i'm super excited but by his expression he's already bored he's like can we just go home i want to play digimon so i don't know i'm just saying that you better stop being bored like he is bored he doesn't unless he wants to really play i really don't know but so we got jigglypuff here and they're basically just showing the catching technique jigglypuff is moving side to side though uh, as we can see in like the top jigglypuff is moving side to side obviously i can't uh play it all because it's copyright and stuff so just as they do in pokemon go where they jump over the screen and stuff like that they do that in let's go pikachu and let's go eevee as well um i don't know uh if the better the pokemon is the more they do it like they do in pokemon go um probably but we'll have to see what happens because um, obviously we've seen the legendary Pokemon and stuff like that. But we haven't seen them move around because we battle them. Then obviously Jigglypuff's doing this like little dance moving around all the side. Then he fled. Um, so this is obviously very, very interesting. So we have Jigglypuff here. It says something and then Jigglypuff moves to the side. And then I'm pretty sure, I'm presuming that says that Jigglypuff fled. Because that kid's like, oh no, I lost my Jigglypuff. And then everyone's like laughing about it. So Pokemon flee in this game just like they do in Pokemon Go. Um, and obviously the better the Pokemon they are the more likely they are to flee. So if you find a shiny Pokemon, there's no guarantee you're going to catch it. Yeah, you can throw raspberries and stuff like that at it, but it's going to be very easy to fail shiny Pokemon in this game. So maybe they've increased the odds in this game. Who knows? Um, we're still a little bit debate about that. But at the end of the day, they can flee in this game if you didn't know that. Just like they can in Pokemon Go, which sucks. Um, then we've got a Growlithe here. Um, again, not something you could catch in, Vermil in above Vermilion City. So... They've literally changed the locations of, like, every single Pokemon, which is really cool. They're obviously playing... Now, Growlithe is a version exclusive to Let's Go Pikachu, I do believe. So, that's what they're playing right now. We've got um, a Growlithe there. But something to note, though, is that they have Eevee. So, this is Let's Go Pikachu, but they've also got Eevee in their team as well. Early on in the game as well. So, Clefairy obviously get Mount Moon. Pidgey get early on. Eevee's level 20, so... I wonder where we find Eevee, because we know that we can find Pikachu in Viridian Forest. And these are obviously playing Let's Go uh, Pikachu because they found a Growlithe. And that's the version exclusive to Let's Go Pikachu. So the fact that they can catch an Eevee early on is really cool. And I'm pretty sure they show you where to catch Eevee um, pretty pretty quickly anyway. So obviously we got through that. Then they go through the stats. So this is obviously Eevee's stats. It's got a ground type move here. It's got a dark type move here. I believe that's a fairy type move. And then that's a normal type move. And then it has this as well. I don't know why it has five different moves. You guys might have to help me out about this because I have no idea. But it has a ground type move. That's probably sand attack. The dark type moves probably, I don't know, with 25 pp. I'm not sure. That's obviously uh, the baby doll eyes. That's probably tackle. But it has another move, 20 out of 20. So it has five different moves. So 
I'm not sure. Needs 1300 to level up at level, what is it, level 20, something like that. Level 21. So it needs 1300 level 21. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what that extra move is. Or maybe it's trying to learn a new move. That's probably what it is, actually. It's probably trying to learn a move. Yeah, because it just leveled up. Okay. So Pokemon don't randomly get another extra move. It was just trying to learn a move. Okay, I'm glad I figured that out because I would have got slated in the comments, like, real bad. Um, so yeah, that's like the, the, that, that part of the game. So all that bit shows you is that Pokemon can basically flee, um, which is obviously interesting. And it's also very bad as well at the same time. But then, uh, obviously they, they you can choose your Pokemon to like the different Pokemon to follow you and Eevee's following you now. So in Let's Go Pikachu, Eevee's running after you. Look how cute little Eevee looks. Look how cute he is. He's running around. He's really small. He's a little, little cutie and he's, oh, he's so cute. I really am a big fan of it. But it's, it's cool to see that we get Eevee before the Million City, which only makes sense because obviously we get Pikachu before Million City. We get Pikachu at the very start of the game in Viridian Forest. So maybe we get Eevee in Viridian Forest. I didn't see anything in E3 about it. Or maybe we get ETH, uh, maybe we get EV um, just before Mount Moon, where you can not normally find Jigglypuff. Maybe just outside of Mount Moon. Maybe it's here in Vermillion. We really don't know. Because obviously they haven't got to settle on yet. I don't think so. Because I doubt they've got caught. But then we have all the Pokemon flying around in the different places. So we got Pidgeotto, we got Jigglypuff, we got Clefairy following our co op player. Because obviously I think the kid's playing now. He's like, look at that smile on his face. He's like, yeah, give me that. I'm about to play some Pokemon. So then we find, obviously, a Rattata over here. Rattata is not even in the grass. He's running over here, so I'm not sure why. Uh, they're not even popping up in the grass now. They're just popping up randomly. Then, obviously, they're showing some co-op gameplay. They've got an excellent, which is awesome. They're really happy about it. Like, you can just see by that expression. Look how happy he's like. Yeah, I hit excellence on the day. Every single day, I only hit excellence. Look at that face. He's, he's an excellent kind of kid. Then we've got Pidgeotto randomly chilling here. They're not even near the grass. They're just randomly chilling in the overworld, which is pretty crazy if you ask me. Then they're trying to catch the Pidgeot again. I think you just have like a better catch chance or something like that if um you catch the Pokemon with a with a teammate. But here we go. Here is the evolution screen. Now the evolution screen in this game looks absolutely incredible. Looks so so nice. I can't play it all the way through because of copyright reasons, but I'll play it really slowly. In fact, I could probably play it like a um a very slow speed to try and like kind of show you guys. So let's just show you guys. Right, the kid just shouted. But here we go. This is the evolution screen. Look how nice this looks. It looks so so nice. It, it looks slightly like Pokemon Go, where like the ball of blue comes around, then it jumps up into the air, and then it kind of changes, then it comes back down. But I love the kind of background with like the shooting stars and the clouds and everything like that. Looks really, really nice. But yeah, the evolution screen I'm a big fan of. It really, really does look really, really nice. But uh, let's just keep watching it. All these different like blue things, like the evolution of, of the evolution is so, so cool. And then it just unfolds like that, like a red unfold thing, kind of just... It just looks so, so nice. The whole background changes. Pidgeotto, Pidgeotto jumps down. And then that's Pidgeotto. So it, it looks really, really nice. Like the evolution does look very, very nice. But um, so that's the evolution bit. That was like the main part of this video that I want to show you guys. And then obviously just Pidgeotto is cool. And then they're showing the Pokeball Plus, um, I think. And then obviously Pikachu's on the side. Then they're back in the game. Just kind of showing the Pokeball Plus now. Um, any more like secret gameplay for this part. Because like I say, I'm going to do this in two different parts. Uh, that Pokeball is huge though. Why is that so big? I don't know why that is so big, but they picked it up, and I don't know because it's in Japanese. But uh, then we got an Abra as a wild encounter. Abra, I know, doesn't appear. Where is this? I'm trying to think where this is. I'm trying to think where there's a gentleman. I like how the gentlemen actually have like walking sticks now. The, the NPC sprites look really cool. I'm trying to figure out where this is because I actually have no idea. Um, I have no idea. I I know that Abra doesn't appear here though. Abra literally only appears like. On the left of Cerulean, so well, like near Cerulean Cave. He's <laughs> yeah, he's he is not a fan of Abra. This dude is not a fan of Abra at all. Oh, what a cute kid! Uh, so obviously they're catching Abra now. Uh, they're in co-ops. So obviously, I think it just gets easier to catch. And then that's kind of it for this. Like that's all I kind of really wanted to show you. Where is this? Is this still familiar? It must still be familiar. We got a side up there as well. Literally, all these Pokemon just literally appear everywhere. It's really really crazy. But, um, yeah, like, this is insane. I'm, I'm a big fan of this. Big fan indeed. But, um, then they obviously go back into Cerulean. They go to the, to Diglett's Tunnel, I do believe. Do they go inside Diglett's Tunnel? They don't. They find a Drowsy. So this is obviously the right of Vermillion. You know, where you obviously can find Drowsies here. Um, we know that because that's just what it was in Red, Blue, and Yellow, and, and Green, and Fire, and Leaf Green, everything like that. This kid is, like... He does not stand still. He's like, look, I know I'm playing like the best game right now, but I'm not going to stand still. I don't know who this dude is. This is definitely the 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 right of a million though. So what do we have here? We've got a Rattata. I don't know what that is. We've got Drowsy over here, obviously. Um, it doesn't really show you what the Pokemon is. Then there's a battle, obviously. He's sending out his Diglett. Okay. 
So that's cool. This guy really likes Diglett, apparently. And then that's kind of it. So I don't want to show too much because obviously, um, to be fair, I can just kind of show you the rest of it. Yeah, I'll just show you the rest of it because we're, we're, we're nearly at the end of the video anyway. So I'm not going to break it up into two parts. I'll just break it into one. Um, so let's just show you the rest. I don't think there's too much left to show. They just do like the 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 kind of petting feature, whatever that is, like the Pokey Ame kind of thing uh, with a pet the star Pokemon. We've got the character customization. We can do this at any time, which is really cool. Um, obviously, changing all of Pikachu's looks. Look how cool Pikachu looks there. So, so awesome. And you can change the, the trainer's customization as well. I'm pretty sure they do that now. Yeah. And then, obviously, uh, this is the first gameplay we've got of, like, the trainer customization. We've got a Ratkate here. We've got a Pidgey here. Drowsy over there. We've got Eevee following you. I really like it. It looks really, really cool. Then we've just got more trainer battles. Voltorb. Pikachu looks really cool in battle. Um, and that's pretty much everything, I do believe. Pretty sure that is everything that they wanted to say. So, yeah. Really cool gameplay. Obviously, the biggest part of it is the evolution scene. Uh, the evolution looks really, really nice. Um, big fan of it. But uh, yeah, obviously, this channel will be linked. To, well, this video will be linked in the description down below if you want to check out the whole video. As I'm sure some of you guys will because nobody likes people stopping and starting the video. It is annoying. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think about the gameplay? Do you like the evolution thing? I'm a big fan of it. I think it looks really, really cool. But um, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like. It really does help out. Let me know, let me know that you guys like the Pikachu... Uh, an EV content, the Let's Go Games uh, content, because I do like bringing new gameplay to you guys and stuff whenever it does get announced. Uh, be, sh be sure to subscribe as well. I do daily Pokemon content on this channel. Uh, Let's Plays, Top 5s, all that jazz. I've got my Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Channel Discord, second channel, Patreon, all can be found in the description down below. That is everything for me, though, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day, and until next time, guys, peace.